Hello guys and welcome back. This is Billfield and we're playing Amnesia the Dark Descent. Uh, I didn't even move from the you know from the place where I stopped. So let's continue with the story and let's see. Uh, let's find out about Daniel's uh, past. That shadowed past. Okay, so we have uh, a letter here. Let's read it. 16th of May. 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. All right. So, I'm just gonna break everything here. Are you hear me? Everything. Wow. Oh, nice glitch. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought it was gold. <laughs> this reminds me of a lot of things. Oh, <laughs> I love this thing. Okay, I'll just leave it here. Wow. <laughs> I got you there. Let's go. Catalogy. Catalog. Latern. Oh no, zombies, you're not coming. Bah. Um. Yeah, just let's close this. Not interested. Yeah, fine. Alright, message. Hebrew offer. Uh, no, I don't care. Oh, wait, no. I have to read it. Maybe it's something important. Hebrew offer my full attention and service to Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will reign a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of, Hanburg, of, Ber of Brandenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian royal court with the sanctum of the order of the black eagle may no man break this seal um, Wilhelm house of get it. Wow Okay Could I don't have time for games uh, I love sunlight just I could escape from here, but I wonder if it's even locked stadium What was that? But nothing will attack us yet. It's fine. Um, ah, hi, got you. Pull the chair here. No, 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 the chair must be here. Ah, let's close it. No, chair is gonna fall. It's fine. Another message. 17th of May. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. 
Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. Whoa. I was trapped. That guy got actually trapped. <laughs> let's see what let's see what's gonna happen next. Oh crap. <laughs> Old tomes, what do I have here? Do I have this? No, I'm not falling for this. It's uh, I can't help in this. Okay. Ah, chest! Yes, oil! Yeah, I have oil, finally! For oil. Uh, for oil bottles. Or bottles with oil. Call it, however you like. Um, what we have to do is to enter History Lottery. But it won't open, it's locked! So we come here... Ah, uh, great! Um, let's just put everything. Yes, good. We have 14 time boxes. I rarely use them. Okay. Floor plans. Wow, this is really large for this two words. Yeah, anyways. Wow. Much of the castle is old hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> that was loud. Just <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, tiny box, books, and crap stuff. This is the third message of that guy. Read it. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, th that's right, that's a video! Hey, don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Oh. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Yes. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. So these guys got saved, and we'll have a happy ending here. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and <laughs> you're awesome. And okay, goodbye guys. Goodbye fellas. Thanks for watching.